On a typical day in the Bronx, you might come across a few cats walking along the sidewalk and not think anything of it. But did you know that tens of thousands of feral cats live in the streets and outdoor spaces of New York City? Today, we'll meet Jen, who just completed the Trap, Neuter, and Return program, and will explain what you can do to help solve this problem. Well, hello, Jen. Thanks so much for inviting me to your home in the Bronx to share a little bit about your experiences with the feral and stray cats in your neighborhood. So how did you first become involved in helping the cats? Well, thanks for coming out. Um, I'll tell you, when I first moved to the Bronx in 2009, uh, my first apartment was in between two townhouses that were abandoned, and there was a feral cat colony in each one of those houses. Um, and so I first discovered this because little kittens started showing up in my yard, <laughs> and it was the middle of winter, so of course I started feeding them, and I soon realized that the cats on either side of me were having a litter about two or three times a year. So what advice do you have for other people who want to help the feral cats in their neighborhood? The best thing that you can do is to become certified through the Trap Neuter Release Program. This is a free program. It's sponsored by the ASPCA, uh, by the Mayor's Alliance for Animals in New York City, and also by Alley Cat Allies. The purpose of the program is to trap the feral cats that are living in your neighborhood um, and then you can you can then take them in for vaccines and to be spayed or neutered at no cost to you. Uh, the ASPCA will even provide a transport vehicle and then the, you, what you want to do is release them into the same neighborhood where you found them. The purpose for that is that the cats are very territorial. So even after they're spayed or neutered, they will prevent other cats from moving into the area and in that way we can start to control the population a little bit. So we're going to check in with Jen's neighbor to see how he feels about the feral cat colony in the neighborhood. Hi. Hey Harold. What's your experience been with these feral cats? Oh my goodness. When did my backyard become a breeding pen <laughs> for, for every cat in the Bronx? I do not like these cats and of course I want them gone. One of the things I'm coming to talk to you about is that I was recently certified through the Trap Neuter Return Program. Uh -huh. I would like to start trapping some of the cats so that we can get them spayed or neutered. And I'm wondering how you would feel about us setting up a feeding station a couple of doors down from you in front of the fence. You know, first I'm saying, why, why are you feeding these things? It's just going to encourage them. Now when you explain to me that you're really setting a trap, that makes a little more sense. If we can just control the population and cut down on some of the um, symptoms that people are experiencing, like the howling and the spraying, that hopefully will help. Today you're going to demonstrate how to properly set a trap. Absolutely. Today we are going to use my trusty <laughs> helper, Olivia, to help us demonstrate. Um, like I was saying earlier, you want to set up a feral cat feeding station. Uh, something that's protected from the weather, so maybe a box with a plastic covering or something like that, and you want the cats to get in the habit of coming and eating at the same time every day. So you want to use some food that is um, very uh, appealing to the cat. So we would put the tuna right in here, um, and we would want to get the cat in the habit. You might even want to put the tuna in a little bit farther, just to get the cats used to coming in the back entrance and eating in the trap okay. for a few days before you actually set it. We're going to actually put in a layer of paper. Okay. So in case Olivia gets nervous and <laughs> has to use the bathroom, our trap will be protected. Okay, so, so today is the day that we're ready to trap the cat and we put the tuna right on this side of the trigger plate and we zip tied our back door in place so that the cat will not be able to open this with its claws. So now we're actually gonna set the trap okay. on this end. So we're going to push this little lever and then there's a little hook right here and you can see that as I'm setting this hook, it is lifting up that trigger plate. Right oh, there. I see, perfect, mm -hmm. okay. So now when our cat ready. enters, She'll be coming in to get the food, and she's actually going to step right on this trigger plate oh. Oh. and trigger that door. So as soon as the cat is trapped, you want to cover it up to make the cat more comfortable, and then you are going to label it uh, with these little tags that come from the ASPCA. It's really important that you label it not only with your name, but the exact location where you found the cat, because you want to return the cat back to its uh, exact neighborhood where it came from. 
I know many people that have feral cats in their neighborhood will be able to use these tools and resources as a way to get their feral co cat colony um, spayed and neutered. So thank you for sharing. Thank you. Do you have a question for Dr. Dan or an amazing pet tale to share with our audience? We'd love to hear from you. Make sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter and subscribe on YouTube. This episode is sponsored by New York Dog Nanny and Bopri Photography.